quick tip on the serve. When you're working with kids, it's very difficult for them to control their toss. A lot of times you'll see them chasing the ball, falling out into the court and being unbalanced. I've got a couple of little targets here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw them on the ground. I'm going to try to make sure I'm going to get Carrie to step in. I'm going to make sure she's at a comfortable distance there. Are you comfortable or your feet too far apart? I'm good. Okay. And what we're going to do is I tell, tell Carrie that her feet are locked into the mat. She's not allowed to move them. And this keeps her from chasing bad tosses. If she tosses too far out in front, too far behind, and it feels like it's going to make her fall off the mat, she's not going to try to hit it. So what we want to do is have her put the ball in her hand and do a couple practice tosses and then uh, some serves. And it's okay after she, we would always tell her to stop up at the contact and then after that she can come around with the arm and the shoulder and she can come out of the mat afterwards. But she has to stay in the mat until she makes contact with the ball. Okay, I'm going to grab a couple of balls here. Notice now she's wanting to put the ball right there in her fingertips. I'm going to raise it up just a little bit. She wants to let it relax in her fingers, kind of like the prongs on a diamond. You like diamonds? Yes. <laughs> oh, wow, a girl that likes diamonds. Go figure. Okay, now when she gets up to the top of her toss, she's going to get her hand up as high as it can, and she's going to spread her hand open like a flower. All the fingers spread out at the same time. She's not going to flick it behind her head or let it roll off her fingers. She wants to get up top. Spread her hand like a flower. You like flowers? Yes. Wow. Diamonds and flowers. You're a very unique girl. <laughs> okay. I'm going to back up a little bit. We're going to toss the ball. Stop at the contact. Okay. Try to get that racket behind your shoulder. Full motion there. Touch your back. Stop. Much better. Much better. Let's try a couple more. Ah, did that foot come around? <laughs> and see what we're doing is lock, trying to lock her feet in place so she gets off a good ball toss. And it's for the most part pretty consistent. That's pretty good. Let's, tr let's try again. Spread those fingers. Stop at the contact. Good. And we can count until we make them in the box. Let's say we're going to make six in the box. I want you to stop really strong up at the contact. Stop. Very good, very good. Come across your body. This is a great exercise to keep your child from chasing the toss. It helps them to get more control over their toss and it'll help her out in the long run with her serve. One, two, three, hit. Just like a corner. Back. Stop. Two. You got it. And kick. Excellent. Let's go. Just like a quarterback. Stop. Two. You got it. And kick. Excellent.